So we're going to generate the truth table for this statement, which is P implies Q and not P. All implies not Q. So we start, uh, we got 2, see we got P and Q, so we got 2 to the 2, which equals 4. We're going to have 4 lines in our truth table. We have P and Q. Uh, we got the implication here. We have the negation of P. We're going to use the conjunction, so we're going to and and this. And then we have the negation of Q. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this column and this column and we're going to impl like use the implication on it. So bracket bracket implies so it's all of this implies not Q. <clears throat> Maybe wondering why I'm using my ruler upside down is because I just don't want the ink to smear. Little top tip: if you want to avoid, if you're using a pen, you can avoid smearing your ink. If you're using pencil, well, I guess you don't really have to worry about smear, smudging the pencil too much. But if you've already seen, I've already smudged that right there. So the implication only returns a false when the first proposition is true and the second proposition is false. So true implies true, well that's true, true implies false, that's that's the only time when it's false, false implies true, that's true, and false implies false is true. The negation, well we flip all the values in the P column, so we have true, or sorry, false, false, true, true. <coughs> And the next part is we have the conjunction or the AND operator. And we take these two columns here and we apply the disjunction or the conjunction operator. And the conjunction operator returns a true value only when both of these are true. So true and false, well, that's false. False and false, that's definitely false. True and true, that's true, true. Okay, <clears throat> now we have the negation of Q, so we need to take this column, the Q column, and flip the value. So we have false, true, false, true. Okay, and we're almost done. What we need to do now is we need to take the implication of this. So it's this implies this. Now the implication is only returning a false value when this is true and this is false. Okay, so false implies false, that's true. False implies true, that's true. True implies false. Now that's the only time when we return a false value. And true implies true, that's true. And we're finished the table.